Now units, a unit is any product. If you're producing chocolates, what is that unit? One unit is one chocolate. Okay. If you're producing brushes, one unit is one brush. Brush is a unit. Okay. Invoice can be one unit. One application can be one unit. So unit is any item. Now the second word is opportunities. Opportunity means if you're going to buy a shirt, what will you look for? for in the shirt the size the color the cost the material softness so opportunity means what are the specifications that a customer is looking for that is opportunities defect is if it is against that specification it is called as a defect if it is not meeting that specification suppose if you are looking for the size you ordered a shirt on amazon you like to the color they showed that the size is 40 for example and you bought the shirt you look to for size and color that's the two major things that you look for right and uh, those two are opportunity for defects maybe the color is not what you saw on the internet on the screen maybe the size whatever is 40 is not fitting you properly okay so this is called as a defect okay so total opportunity is suppose if it is size and color it is called two opportunities now total opportunity means in what way the number of specification is equal to total opportunity number of units for example if there are two shirts and we are checking color and size in those two shirts so two opportunities in the first shirt and two opportunities in the second shirt and what are those two opportunities size and color totally there are four opportunity okay defects per unit for example one shirt can have maximum how many defects if there are two opportunities one shirt can have how many defects if you are looking only for two specific two defects right the color is also not okay suppose if one shirt has got two defects both the thing other shirt is perfectly okay So what is the defect per unit there are two units and one shirt has got two defects what is the defect per unit one so we will talk about we will calculate this defects per unit how many defective products are there one defective okay so two defective two defects are there and one shirt is defective one shirt is good and then we can say we know total opportunities we will calculate defect per opportunity okay because total opportunity we know we know the defects defect per unit also will calculate defect per unit opportunity also will. defect per million opportunity generally this million is added just for exaggerating the number to get otherwise defects per opportunity means if you are having 1000 shirts and one shirt there are totally two specification you see in the shirt okay that is the size and color if there are 1000 shirts how many opportunities are there 2 into 1000 which is 2000 suppose there are two defects so defect per unit is 2 divided by 1000 units and defect per opportunity is 2 divided by 2000 because 2000 opportunity so if you put 2 divided by 2000 it will be a very very fraction 0.0001 type right so generally in companies just to magnify that they multiply by 1 million how many defects per million okay so we will calculate the sigma capability also this is going to be very very interesting how to calculate sigma and today is going to be a very interesting learning and very fundamental learning for six sigma so okay now we come to the formulas so total opportunity is equal to number of units that is 1000 shirts into opportunities which is 2 and defect per unit is we said we have two defects in one shirt is rejected because size is also not okay color is also not okay so two defects are there and there are 1000 shirts so 2 divided by 1000 we put and defect per opportunity means we said total number of opportunity is two specifications into 1000 units 2000 opportunities and two defects 2 divided by 2000 okay and defects per million opportunity is 2 divided by 2000 into 1 million and sigma capability is something that we will find okay